Well, back in the early 2000s, and Selwyn has been one of the fastest growing councils in New Zealand for the last 14, 15 years, it was decided that we actually needed to have one solution for wastewater in the eastern Selwyn area, and actually to be able to cater for the significant growth we were getting, also able to uh, handle our waste better and have more sustainable, be beneficial uses at the end of the project. So this came about really to cater for our massive growth. MWH was appointed by the Selvan District Council to plan the new uh, wastewater um, treatment plant for pines. And this part of this whole process was um, inc including all the commu surrounding communities and building a regional wastewater treatment plant. So MWH was in involved during the planning stages. The raw wastewater, once you flush the toilet, is conveyed in pipelines and through pump stations and is, ends up here at the wastewater treatment plant. In the bioreactors, which is the heart of the wastewater treatment plant, purification takes place. What you see here is the bioreactor, which contains millions of uh, bacteria and um, part of this um, biomass, which is um, generated every day, needs to be wasted. Waste activated sludge is pumped to a gravity thickener, where the solids uh, thicken from 0.3 to 1.4 percent. And the thickened sludge is then um, pumped into an aerobic digester, where it is um, aerated and stabilized to a grade B type biosolid. From this aerobic digester, the biosolids are pumped to the centrifuges for dewatering. This is a sample of the thickened waste activated sludge that is pumped to the centrifuge for dewatering. This is the dewatered biosolids with a consistency of 18 to 20 percent dry solids that is conveyed via those conveyors into the drying hall for further processing. In the drying hall, biosolids from the centrifuge are spread, turned and moved by the sludge manager, which is a pre-programmed system which moves across and down the hall to spread and to turn the solids. In the process, we get further drying and stabilization of the biosolids. From the front end, 20% dry solids and at the end 93% dry solids, so 70% of the water is being evaporated in this greenhouse. The uniqueness is that it, it dries under very low energy input, the solids from 20% to 93% dry solids. The only energy required is to run those, that sludge manager and those um, fans over there. Compare that to a thermal dr dryer, there's a lot more energy involved in importing energy you know, to dry the solids. This is all done naturally through the sunlight. The chambers themselves are fully monitored. We have um, a couple of sensors in here that um, measure the temperature inside the chamber and also the humidity. Halfway down the chamber we have a couple of uh, video cameras uh, so they can actually jump on the internet and they can see um, pretty much what's going on all the time inside the chamber. Um, plus if we have any uh, programming issues they can also go through the internet and make alterations to our programming. One of the big advantages um, for the council has been the reduction in disposal costs whereas um, previously they carted away liquid solids at 40 to 60 cubic meters a day um, now the solids have been in this hall for about eight months and they're only starting to remove um, some of the dried solids now. The current predictions is over half a million dollars a year in savings. We were a bit apprehensive about um, how well it was going to do, but um, it's definitely done what it's supposed to do. Particularly in the wastewater area, um, MWH is definitely leaders in the industry and uh, we've, we've been able to take advantage of that. MWH has been on call the whole time to work through issues. Selwyn's growing that fast that we have to be flexible and adaptable and uh, to do that we needed a good service provider that could work with us. Yeah.